Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. Today I wanted to do a quick news video talking about the Last Vegas Fan Festival for 2023 and of course the sales of this because we finally got some information for this. We don't have any information for the European or of course the Japanese one yet. That'll be in the future and probably we'll get some European details probably around May, I would imagine. Probably that's when we'll, we'll have our ticket information for EU. But for North America, we have some information on how they're doing it this year. And a few people are already pretty annoyed by this. Um, personally, you know, being outside of North America myself, it doesn't, you know, affect me directly, but I can see where some of the frustration comes from. But let's have a look at this together. It says, Today we would like to share Fan Festival 2023 and Las Vegas ticket details, including information on how players with active subscriptions will have purchase priority ahead of general sales, which is good. We're excited to return to hosting in-person events and invite our Warriors of Light to invite us to uh, Las Vegas this July. July. Wow, it's getting close, isn't it? So there's an official uh, there's an official website for this with stingers on it and like all sorts of graphics. And it says it's now live and offers prospective attendees a glimpse of what they can expect. But the major information here is the actual price. So tickets will cost you one hundred and ninety nine dollars ninety nine cents USD per ticket plus taxes and your fees and all ticket sales are final and an ID will be required to pick up tickets at the event. Ticket holders will receive access to the two-day in-person event which features an exclusive concert performance each evening that will not be streamed. So usually we have like a piano concert one night and then the Primal's live concert the following night, right? A physical goodie bag featuring event-themed items will also be provided to attendees at the event, and those contents are to be revealed. Usually those uh, are definitely worth getting. Um, the key point there is that the events will not be, uh, like the actual concerts will not be streamed, so that's something. Uh, previously, because of COVID, we had a streamed event, um, which was really awesome to have people sort of tune in but we're not having that that time. So you've got more exclusivity for even going. So there's something to go for, even if you're not just going there for the atmosphere and the announcements. Uh, the music is for you alone. The player exclusive ticket purchase opt-in then. So this is the bit that's going to irritate people, I think. And I really hope they don't do this for EU as well. But to ensure that we're serving the, uh, the ever-growing community, we have worked to create our largest fan festival ever in North America. Our focus has been on accommodating a much larger audience this time, which has led to a desire to revamp the process of purchasing tickets. To avoid the rush and long queues we expect during online ticket sales, we have chosen to simplify the experience by first asking interested players to indicate their desire to purchase purchase tickets by opting into a random drawing. During this period, players with active subscriptions who possess a North American Square Enix account simply need to register their desire to purchase via our application form while it is available. So just to stop there for a second, if you're familiar with how the Japanese fan festivals have done it in the past, essentially it's a lottery based system and North America is adopting the exact same premise. So the application period, the, which starts on February the 17th, which is of course today, and lasts until Saturday, February the 25th at 11.59 p.m. PST. You need to register your desire to purchase tickets. This does not guarantee that you will be selected to receive an access code. Being selected to receive an access code does not require you to make a ticket purchase. However, we do ask that you register your interest only if you're planning to make a purchase. After the application application form closes, a drawing is held, and players who are selected will be contacted by Friday the 3rd of March this year via the email address registered at a Square Enix account used in the application process. An announcement will also be posted on the English Final Fantasy XIV Twitter account once the selection notification emails have all been dispatched to the selected players. These access code emails will be delivered from the no reply at Square, uh, Square Enix email 
address so be on the lookout for emails with that address we also recommend that players check any spam junk or promotional mailboxes once the dispatch completion announcements have been made note that players who are not selected will not be contacted so this is a lottery system if you're register your interest and you're not getting a reply you are not going to fanfest america that's as simple as it is so uh you can already see some people are less than enthused about this but it has its benefits i suppose uh in that the website won't be instantly crashing but I don't know. I'm interested to see your thoughts on this. So the ticket purchase website, it says uh, Fan Festival 23 uh, in Las Vegas tickets will be sold via the Show Clicks event website, according to the methods and schedules outlined below. Um, this website may be unavailable until closer to the purchase time frame. Uh, these exclusive access codes. Players who have been selected will receive a one-time access code, but will grant the ability to purchase up to two tickets during the player-exclusive ticket window. So you can buy for yourself and your significant other, for example. Players who possess a unique access code will not need to rush to purchase tickets immediately upon commencement of sales, as the player-exclusive purchase window will last for several days and there will be adequate tickets on sale to ensure that every player with a code can purchase up to two tickets. Once again, tickets can be purchased at any time during a long, uh, long, yeah, week-long period, rather, as long as the player possesses the required code. So, in many ways, this addresses one of the other major issues that we've had previously, where they've literally put the ticket sales up at like, I don't know, 9 a.m. or something when people have been stuck in traffic. Uh, they did this with EU as well. I had to um, register my interest very quickly uh, for FanFest in the past. Um, yes, it, it's, uh, it's, it's a two-edged sword, isn't it, really? I don't think there's really a wrong and a right way of doing this, but I'm not sure if a lottery is the right way. Who knows? Uh, maybe it'll be fine. Maybe there's actually just so many uh, options for people to go this time because it's a bigger venue that um, there'll be no problems at all. But I don't know. It'll be interesting. So the player exclusive ticket purchase period with the code is Monday, March the 6th, 9 a.m. PST to Monday, March the 13th, 2023 at 9 a.m. PDT. So you get an entire week, Monday to Monday, to use your code. Uh, it says general sales. Any unsold tickets after the player exclusive ticket per purchase period ends, while well, that's a mouthful, will be sold during the general sales period. The general sales period will not require a unique access code and tickets will be sold on a first come first serve basis until sold out. So basically, price is averted. You're still able to purchase a ticket without all of this palaver and a lottery system if you're lucky so we, we still have the luck based purchase system but it's relying on any tickets that have not been sold right so there's not going to be a terrible amount of them i would imagine so bear that in mind but it doesn't mean that the lottery system is the only way to get tickets but um like i say hopefully they don't do this for eu eu is normally um a lot smaller in terms of organizational you know requirements and the Excel Center is is fairly large, but um, they have been there before. Tickets will not be available for purchase on site at the event itself. Yeah, that's a key thing to take into in consideration as well. It's all online. And the general sales period will start on the 15th of March, which is a Wednesday at 9 a.m. PDT. It says it is possible that the entire stock of tickets may be sold during the player exclusive purchase period and no tickets will remain for the general sales period. We recommend then applying during the player exclusive ticket purchase period, as I've just said. So there is no guarantee that the general sales will have any tickets uh, for you to even buy anyway. So you must be entered into the lottery, really, I think. It says the ticket purchase limits during the player exclusive purchase period. The access code can be used a single time to purchase a maximum of two tickets. And during the potential general sales period, a maximum of two tickets can be purchased per order. So essentially, you can get more in the general thing if you've already bought two, if that makes sense. Uh, player exclusive ticket purchase application. Once you have read over the above and are ready to apply... Uh, there's an application form. Let's click on this together just in case people 
want to see this, you would obviously have to log into the game. I'm going to cover this and uh, we'll, we'll skip on. And then essentially you would be hit onto this website. Uh, as you can see, I physically will not be able to go to something like a Las Vegas fan festival simply because I am not a North American account holder. However, that doesn't stop me from creating a North American account and creating a sub on there with an active subscription. So as much as people might go, oh, this stops people outside of America going to that festival. Yes and no, because you just simply make an, Ameri uh, an American account and you'll be able to go through that. And then there's an application process on there. So uh, it's as simple as that. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. Are you excited about FanFest? Are you less excited because of this change? How does this affect you directly? I'm very excited for the EU FanFest. Hopefully I can attend that um, in the coming months. Uh, it's hard to believe that it's months now rather than years. I am very excited and I hope to meet a lot of people. But for the North American one, let me know what you think. I wish I could go personally. I would love to go to Las Vegas, but maybe in the future, maybe. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Links in the description, of course.